Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I teach key courses how to work with wafer paper to save time and money when creating beautiful modern cake designs. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to shape wafer paper leaves and we are going to create this beautiful gold ginga biloba wreath for your cakes. Let's get started! And to make my ginga biloba leaves, I'm going to use wafer paper. This is regular 0.27 millimeters wafer paper. And I will use my template. You can download this in the description. I wanted to wire my wreath. That's why I'm using 26 gauge wire in white because I wanted to color this gold. A pair of scissors, a Dresden tool to shape. I'm going to use my AC tonic mixture with a brush to shape my leaves and a foam pot to add some texture. First I'm going to prepare a few pieces of wire for my wreath and I'm going to cut each piece in four like this and I prepare my templates. I'm going to use a few different sizes and that's how much wafer paper I roughly need to start making my leaves. I want these leaves to be thicker and actually looking like a leaf. That's why I'm going to use double thickness wafer paper. Roughly this much. And I find what works best for making leaves is to apply conditioner mixture and to make my leaves double sided. So I'm going to take small amount of wafer paper conditioner on my brush apply on the bumpy side take my wire place it in the middle and sandwich my wafer paper so now I have double thickness wafer paper with the wire in between now while my wafer paper is still soft I'm going to position my template and cut my leaf. And now I wanted to add a little bit more texture to my leaf. So I'm going to take sharp end of my Dresden tool and just draw a few lines to texture this leaf. Like this. And I'm going to set it aside and create a few more leaves and then we can paint them gold and assemble our wreath. And now that my leaves are completely dry, you can see they curl very beautifully just from drying and applying moisture. I'm going to tape them and assemble before painting. So for this I'm going to use half width floral tape. I'm going to stretch it first and tape my first leaf here at the beginning, bring my floral tape up, making sure that it stays in place. I'll take another leaf, maybe two and a half centimeters down and tape them together. And another leaf. I find it's easier to tape leaves together and stack them before moving them around and creating like the final shape. Like this and now I'm going to go the opposite directions for all my leaves. And I have my beautiful Ginga branch that I need to paint the gold. And I love to bend my stem. You can see it's not linear because I find it makes it look more realistic and nature inspired if my wires are not so straight. So to paint this, I'm going to use edible paint. And I have all my edible dust here in this container. I'm going to use gold petal dust mixed with alcohol. You can see this is a peel container and I find it's easier to have it in place and just add alcohol when I need it and not to have any waste. 
I'm going to reactivate my gold petal dust here. And now I can start painting my leaf paper leaves. Let this mixture. Also painting my stem. And I prefer to use alcohol to paint metallic colors on wafer paper because it dries quicker and it won't misshape my wafer paper leaves. If you cannot use alcohol for any reason, you can simply mix your metallic colors with oil and I have a tutorial how to do that as well. And now you have it, beautiful metallic looking wafer paper branch with leaves. You can put in a wreath or make any arrangements you want using this technique. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like it, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget that you can download all my templates and guides on my website. Link is in the description. And I'll see you next week for another wafer paper tutorial on my channel. My name is Anna. Bye-bye.